So what do I have going on today? Well, let me show you. In 1973, I think in 1970, 71, 72 also, Mustangs started to have side marker lights. So when the headlights or parking lights were on, these things would light up. But we have a few problems with them. One of them is they weren't very bright. Poor, that's not the problem there. The other problem is that sometimes the terminals for these push-in bulbs would not carry current very well, and so they wouldn't even come on. And that's what this project started like. The right front marker light was out. So I took my little test light way up there in the very front of that ramp, and I verified I was getting current. I have a jumper I used to make sure I had a good ground and I still wasn't getting light. So I pulled the socket out from the housing, moved the bulb from the socket, and it would come on and go off, come on and go off. So this is what the original bulb looks like. And there's one little filament terminal end at this side and on the opposing side and they push into a twin set of little electrodes and that's supposed to carry the current or it doesn't always work so I decided to try to clean it up so I got some content cleaner and it didn't really make it much of a difference, so I decided that, well, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these LED replacement bulbs for the 194 type of incandescent bulb. Now, this is a 168, which is compatible with 194s and 2825s. And the only thing I had to do was to take out the twist-in socket, pull the old bulb out, and push the new one in. Well, the nice thing about these new ones is a little hard to tell through this package, but the terminal connections are on both sides of the insulator. So there's a better chance of having a good connection. But you can't just take out the old ones and push these in. See that little red dot there? That little red dot indicates that has to be the power side of the terminal connections on the bulb socket. So if you push in a new LED bulb and it doesn't come on, take it out, flip it around 180 degrees and put it back in, it'll probably work. And when it does, look how bright that is. So earlier in this video, I showed how dim the rear marker was. I'm going to replace the rear bulb like I did the front ones, and I'll take another video of that. So you'll see that in a few moments. But meantime, both the left and uh, right side front marker lights are on, and they are bright. And just a little reminder, this is how bright or dim the left rear marker is with the parking lights on with the original incandescent bulb. Okay, here we are in the trunk, and I'm going to remove the socket and bulb assembly from the driver's side rear marker light. There it is. And to pull it out, it's just that, pull it straight out. 
nothing to it. Okay, I open up the package. Let's look at this thing. If you take a good close look, you see that there are two um, two connectors, and they are both conductive. And the other side, same thing. Red dot, no red dot. The red dot means that this is polarity sensitive and that one side has to be connected to the positive power terminal in the bulb socket. Otherwise, these are totally reversible. So let's see what happens in the two different polarized positions. Doing this one-handed is going to be tough, but I'll get there. Okay, there, I have that one correct. I'm going to flip it 180 degrees and take note that when it's 180 out, the bulb doesn't come on. So I'll flip it around the other way back to where the red dot is in the positive terminal and it lights right up. Look how bright that is. Boy, that's bright. So I'm going to plug that back in here to the marker assembly. And let's just see how bright that is. Speaking of bright, those are the Vintage LED Stockholm tail lights with the parking lights on. Those are LED and they're pretty bright compared to the original. Oh, look how bright that is. Okay, that is a bright marker. Compare that to the driver's side, which still has the incandescent bulb. And you can see how dim that is in comparison. Okay, so here I'm going to do the same thing. Twist out side marker socket. Take out the old bulb. Get the new one and plug it in and see if I have it plugged in with the correct polarity. Well, you don't see it yet, but I do, and it is the correct polarity. So, doing this one handed is a pain. Put this back in, twist it into place. And let's see how bright that is now. Big difference. Okay. I got these from AutoZone. There's the part number, 168. And it works for the great majority of vehicles that originally came with these incandescent push-in 194 bulbs and as you saw it works quite well